Hello there, this is Rahil from All About Affiliate Marketing. In today's video, we'll talk about how to create an affiliate account with ShareASL. Before we start, let's talk a bit about ShareASL. So ShareASL is one of the top affiliate marketing networks out there. They provide a platform to affiliates to connect with their merchants and promote their product or services, bring sales to them basically. And in return, these merchants pay commissions to the affiliates via ShareASL. So that's how ShareASL plays a role in here. Without further ado, let's go ahead and create an affiliate account with ShareASL. To do that, you may open your Google Chrome or any browser, doesn't matter. You can go to a search engine. If you don't know their website, you can search for ShareASL by typing, which will lead you to the, to the very first result. That's ShareASL.com. You can click on their website. And over here, you can see uh, they have 2,100 uh, 2100 plus merchants. And these are the publishers to have, like high number of publishers. I said they are one of the top affiliate marketing networks out there. And this is what the publishers or affiliates have earned from them in last year. So in order to create an affiliate account with ShareASL, there are two prerequisites that uh, that are very important and you should understand them. So the very first one is the sign-up process is very easy. However, it requires an approval from them. That means once you fill up a form on, on ShareSL website to be an affiliate, they will review whatever information that you have filled in and then they will provide a confirmation to you and a platform through which you can interact with the merchants and promote their product and services. So that's one. Second is you must have a website. So if you're okay with getting a pool from them and you, you have a website, then we can proceed. To create an affiliate account, on top right hand side, you can hover over sign up and click on affiliate sign up. Let's wait for it to load. Give it a few seconds here. Yeah. Okay, once here, you can choose a username. So I'm I just have the information here. I'm just gonna copy and paste this information in here. You can set a password and confirm it. Select your country. Now again, as I say, whatever information that you will be filling in, they will be reviewed by ShareSL team. So ensure that it's accurate. And then click on step two. This should take you to step two. Give it a few seconds. Okay, so in here, if you can observe on the left-hand side, it's your username or whatever you had filled in. And this is a unique ID that's being assigned to your account. So if you ever reach out to ShareSell in the future, you may provide this ID to them and they would be able to locate whatever information you have filled in. In this step, you have to mention a website URL. As I said, it's required. So for now, I have a dummy website that I'm just gonna use. But for you, I do not recommend you to use dummy website. Please use the website that you have. Otherwise, it would be hard to get approval from them. After filling the website detail, you can select the website language and website content, so uh, content information. So does your website contain adult content uh, links? So whatever suits, you can just select yes or no. Uh, and in here, these are strategies, questions. So do you utilize sponsored listing and pay per click search engines? Basically, are you somehow engaged in search engine um, selling and all that? If yes, you can tick mark yes. Otherwise, you can just go with no. Do you utilize coupons as part of your promotional strategy? Well, most of the websites do use coupon codes. These are basically promotional codes. Uh, so you, you may either select yes or depending on your whatever you whatever your website do. Do you utilize a browser add-on toolbar or other downloadable app applications? So these are basically, you must have seen the, the extensions, the browser extensions and some uh, add-on or toolbar. So if yes, go with yes, otherwise no. Are you an advertising network or affiliate network? So sometimes what happens, there are affiliate networks out there and they end up joining other affiliate networks as an affiliate. So most of the time, again, it depends on your, your business model of your website. 
So go with yes or no. Do you have a network of publishers to which you deliver ads? So basically, you know, there are some affiliates out there who do not promote their own advertisements. They kind of have affiliates working under them. So if you, you are such a person, then go with yes. Otherwise, select no. Do you display advertisements on site that you don't own? Now, there are some affiliates, what they do, they get affiliated with different affiliate networks, but they don't promote the brands on their own website, but have someone else promote the advertisements of their on their website. So again, select it accordingly, I'll just go with no. Thereafter, you can click on step three. Now in here, you have to enter the email address. So this is basically the registered email address. Ensure it is working. And then go to step four. And this is very important. As you can see in here, you have to fill in all your information. Let's start with first name and last name. Again, the information that I'm filling in here, these all are dummy just for to, to educate you how to create a uh, affiliate account with ShareSell. So whatever information you fill in, ensure it's accurate. Now in checks payable to organization. So when it comes to getting commission from ShareSell for promoting products or, or services of merchants and bring selling uh, to them, they will be issuing payment to you via check or other uh, payment methods. What should be the name? You have to mention a name here. So when they will issue the, the payment to you, to whom should they issue? So whatever name you fill in here, they will issue the payment uh, to that person. So ensure you fill in the proper information here, whatever banking name you're choosing. So it should be the same here. In my case, I'm just going to go with John, all in you. Here you can mention the phone number, address, just copy and paste the details uh, in city, select the city, state or province, and zip code. Okay, now the next field is support phone pen. What is it? Whenever you'll be calling share a cell on phone or on, a, on a number, they might ask you to provide a pen. So this is basically a phone pen, a unique number that's only assigned to you. You can also write whatever you prefer. It should be four digit. Whatever you're writing in here, just keep it somewhere so that whenever you contact share a cell over phone, you can provide this number. This is kind of them confirming your ownership that yes, indeed, you are the one uh, who is the owner of this specific affiliate account. All right. I'll just go to the next field, which is program description. I can mention the description here. Again, this is all about your, your website, whatever your website is about, your business model. You might want to write a quick sentence sentence about it, up to 20, 240 characters. Then the next section, incentive website. An incentive program is a website that rewards visitor for performing actions. Examples include pay to read emails. Basically, do you provide rewards to your consumer? Uh, if yes, you select yes, otherwise no or unsure. Domain ownership. So the, the website that I had provided in the previous steps, does it belong to me? If yes, then I can click on yes, I verify. And hi, hi, I highly recommend that only create a affiliate account for the website that you own. Uh, because again, uh, to get approval from them, they will be going through all the information that you will be filling in here. Okay, then you can click on step five. And in here, they will show you the payment options to have. So currently, um, they're, they're even saying when they will be issuing the payment to you, assuming you're on commission from them. Uh, and there are two payments. So one is via postal service and check via postal service and then check via Federal Express. So these both are checked. You can choose now or select later, whatever you decide. I'll just go with send check via postal mail. And then click on complete sign up. This will lead you to terms of agreement. And sure, you must read all, all the things in here. It's because I know sometimes it's hard to read through all the agreements part, but we should read, we should understand so that we would know what we should do and what we should not do. After reading it, you can click on, you can check mark this. I agree to the about terms. 
and also check mark i verify that this kind of information to provide is accurate to the best of my knowledge and then click on complete sign up so as you can see uh it's the account is not actually created it's in the interim part and an email has been sent out to this email address i can go to my email account i'll just show you here okay i can refresh it so this is my Gmail account for the email address that I had given. Okay, so you see, I got an email from ShareSell. I can click on it and there will be a link. So if I click on this link, you have confirmed your account in ShareSell. So basically I have confirmed my account in ShareSell, but I won't be able to log into my account yet. Why? Because as you can see, the member will review my account will review all the information that I fill in. If they find it everything good, they will give me a green signal and I would be able to access my account and would be able to promote merchants of ShareSL. And it could take three business days. Uh, these business days do not include Saturday and Sunday. So it could be lesser, it could be up to three business days. Totally depends on the volume. Now, assume that you got the approval from them. How will you log in to your ShareSL account? To log in, Again, you can go to your uh, go to their website, which is sharecell.com, over over login and click on affiliate login. And if you do that, it will ask you to fill in the username and password, and it will take you to the interface that you have with Sharecell as affiliate. Now, what if you do not get an approval from them and you have a cushion? You want to reach out to you and ask more about the account that you have. Any cushion doesn't matter. Even after getting approval from them, you have some cushions and you want to know answer for. So for that, you may reach out to the support team or share a cell. And for that, you can, uh, you can go down to the footer section of the website. In here, you will see contact us under resources. So you can click on contact us. And there will be a form that you can fill up and submit so someone from from their team will reach out to you other than that again on the footer section there will be a phone number and there will be an email address so you may also reach out to to this phone number or to this email address to get to have any any question that that you have related to share cell uh, and they will be able to answer it so this is how you create an affiliate account with share cell and i know it's the the sign up process is simple but again it requires approval so there's no harm for waiting for a few days to get approval and they're very good they usually provide approval again providing all the information you, you have given is accurate now i hope this this video uh, you like this video and it kind of helps you to create an uh, affiliate account with shareasell uh, if you have question related to affiliate marketing and if you want me to create more videos on any topic feel free to let me know in the comment and i would love to create content for you uh, in the meantime do not forget to like this video subscribe it and click on the bell icon so that you get notified of any video that i create moving forward again thanks for watching have a great day